This is the HTC One V, an Android smartphone that is part of HTC's One series. Let's start with the design. The HTC One V has a design that was inspired by an earlier HTC phone, uh, Android phone called the HTC Legend. So it has a complete metal unibody casing. So you can see that it's a single piece of metal um, and all the components are inside there. So that makes the phone feel really solid. And if you do accidentally drop the phone, you know, you're not going to see the phone break apart into many different pieces because it's a, a one single piece. And even though it's made of metal, it does have this kind of a soft texture. You know, it doesn't feel um, too uh, smooth or glossy. It actually feels very comfortable to hold in your hand. And because it's a 3.7 inch display, um, the phone is smaller as well compared to some of its older brothers such as the uh, HTC One X. So it really is a lot more comfortable to hold in your hand and it's a lot more comfortable against your face as well because it has this little curved chin at the bottom so you can see that the phone just kind of curves upwards like that. So the whole idea is that when you, when you put it against your face it kind of curves upwards a little bit. So you know um, it's, it's very nice uh, to hold and um, you know it's got this uh, little rubberized piece at the bottom here and behind this piece of plastic is where all the components, uh, the other stuff that you can access are including the micro SD card slot as well as the SIM card slot and they're all in this little piece of rubber. So you don't feel any smooth, glossy or sharp edges anywhere on this phone. Everything is just kind of uh, have a little bit of a soft touch yet solid type of feeling which is very nice. Now the display is a 3.7 inch display with a resolution of 480 uh, by 800 so um, the, 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 the screen is uh, not as pretty as the HTC One X for example and the res resolution is slightly lower um, as well but um, you know nevertheless the screen still looks pretty good you know it doesn't actually look washed out or anything the colors are all very nice it features many of the similar designs that you will find on the rest of the HTC One series including this touch sensitive backlit keys on the front over here and it's also missing buttons that the other phones are also missing including the lack of a camera shutter button. Now let's talk about the hardware on the HTC One V. In terms of specifications, it does lose out a little bit to its HTC One X sibling. It has only a 1 GHz CPU and I've already mentioned that it's got a smaller 3.7 inch display compared to the 4.7 inch uh, display. It's also missing a front facing camera that the One X has. However, in terms of things that are being retained, it still has a pretty good camera. This is a 5.0 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.0 and an LED flash. So you still have a pretty good camera. And in terms of things that are gained, the HTC One V has a micro SD card slot and the HTC One X does not. Also, the SIM card is using a full size SIM card rather than a micro SIM. Now let's talk about the software. This phone is powered by Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich and comes with HTC Sense 4.0. Now I've gone into great detail about what HTC Sense 4.0 brings on the previous episode of Gear 65 featuring the HTC One X. So if you'd like to find out more about what HTC Sense 4.0 is all about, go check out that particular video because everything is almost identical with the exception of two things. First of all, if you go to the app switcher, instead of having this really cool 3D app switcher it's gone back to the stock app switcher because of the less power that the HTC One V has. So this is the, the normal one that you find on all ice cream sandwich devices and you can still slide and quit stuff. For example, if I want to quit the clock, I just kind of slide it this way. I can slide it in any way. I can slide it this way as well and it will quit a particular application. The other thing is this. Do you remember the really fancy lock screen that the HTC One X has? You know, which they show you the weather in 3D and stocks and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the One V does not come with that particular uh, features. So as you can see in the personalized screen, you do not have an option for to choose the type of lock screen to have. The lock screen will only show the wallpaper. However, apart from that, everything else is the same and you know whatever
whatever icons that you put down here on the launcher will appear in the lock screen so when I unlock it here I can basically drag the camera and drag it inside here and it will instantly launch and uh, just like the One X it does come with Beats Audio you can see that it's very proudly you know shown off over here with Beats Audio and this allows you to have uh, uh, enhanced audio quality regardless of the app you're using or the headset that you're connecting to the device itself. You will also find HTC Car on this device which is that custom user interface designed specifically for use on a car. And likewise all the other applications are also featured here. The same FM radio, flashlight app, the clock, everything that you found on the HTC One X was here with exception to those two particular features. And this is the HTC One V. As mentioned earlier, be sure to check out the previous episode of Gear 65 featuring the HTC One X where I go into a lot more detail about what HTC Sense is all about. So, what do you think? What do you think about this device? Would you actually pay lesser amount of money for almost the same capabilities apart from some small bells and whistles? Tell us in the comments and uh, you know, it's your turn to rate the device. And that's it for this episode of Gear 65. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up right on YouTube. Like the video by clicking the button right here to let us know that we are doing a good job. And visit our website www.tech65.org for more awesome tech content. Goodbye.